Hello, I'm Dr. Inman, and this is another video on fracture repair, accelerated fracture repair, and non-union fracture repair. We have used, in years and years and years, we've used for spinal fractures, for instance, a fracture of the body of the spinal vertebral segments. Actually, we've used this instrument, a spinal accelerometer. This device fires tiny amounts of motion at a very, very high rate. And what that can do is it can bring the communication of the body back to the area that the body is trying to avoid. Whenever we have a fracture like this fracture, we end up with a lot of pain. The pain basically tells the body there's a problem area, avoid that area because that's just not okay. The problem with that is that, that accelerated healing is compromised essentially because the body is trying to overwhelm its impetus to try to direct energy in there and also to avoid energy in there. And so when we take a dog that has a spinal fracture, Fracture, if the dog can walk and by the way most of the time spinal fractures are uh, they pr produce uh, non responsible non responsive paralysis and then the ball game is over with unless we use the laser and then what we can do is we can actually bring energy back into those areas by tiny amounts of motion and rehabilitating the, the uh, rehabilitating the uh, functionality at the spinal level and there's a real good possibility that a fracture of the uh, body of the vertebral segment can in fact be handled. Majority of the fractures that we handle in veterinary medicine we handle our fractures of the long bones for instance of the femur and this is a fracture of the femur I'll show it to you in just a second so we'll end up with a fracture in the long bone and we go in there and we repair it surgically most commonly. Distal extremity like tibia fibula fracture or a radius ulna fracture we can sometimes repair with a cast and that's that's a situation that can be taken care of however what we want to talk to you about now is how we can accelerate fracture healing and also how we can treat non-union fractures particularly important we do that not so much with the uh, spinal accelerometer because that just helps a little bit but amazingly when we use a frequency specific laser for instance we're able to do a much better job and we can get these animals to heal their fracture we can get them to heal their fracture site actually and yeah, three times as fast. Let me show you what this looks like here on the x-ray and I'll, I'll give you a little bit better idea of what that looks like. This is a fractured femur obviously. As you can see the pelvis here, the distal leg here, and here's the femur broken into one, two, three, four, five, maybe six pieces. Kind of your basic surgical nightmare. Believe it or not these are fun to put back together again because they're kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. However, radiographically when you were surgically when you open this up you have a great big blood clot that you have to rehabilitate so you can get to the tissue and then you either wire it or pin it or plate it now the problem with that is that you end up with all these cortexes trying to regrow back to, together and you've got anywhere from six weeks to to uh, six months before you finally get an adequate healing if in fact you've reduced this area effectively what we do and what we've found works out particularly well is that we're able to actually accelerate that healing cycle by stimulating the mitochondrial DNA of the, histi of the, the osteoblast and osteoclasts that are actually involved in healing that um, area. So when we have a fracture like this and we put it back together again, whichever way we take care of it, then we cross our fingers and hope this animal will heal correctly. Remember the pain is going to cause the body to basically uh, try to avoid this area. We bypass that by the use of frequency specific laser therapy. So if we have a fracture that is repaired in this regard, very commonly what we can use and very commonly what we do use is we use laser frequency essentially through the cast. We can go right through the cast, be it a plaster cast or a um, a fiberglass cast, we can go right through the leg and basically uh, induce the, the mitochondrial DNA of the osteoblasts and osteoclasts to start doing what they're supposed to do. And here's the scary thing, is that these animals will heal three times faster. And remember I just said three times faster. So uh, a six week uh, cortex to cortex uh, connection basically um, you, is, only takes two weeks. And these, up, these animals are up in ambulatory um, three times faster than they ordinarily would be and not only that they heal back much stronger even if there's a slight amount of motion at the at the fracture site essentially this is also how we'll heal just about any spinal fracture too in the canine and so this is the way that we actually are able to heal spinal fractures now you might be saying what if I've got a fracture that's healing slowly and the way that we take care of slow healing fractures is again the situation a slow healing fracture 
or fracture that is a non-union fracture is an animal that has adequate amount of inflammation and pain associated with that fracture site that the body doesn't want to address it. And so what we do is we get it to address it with this device. We basically utilize this device or we can use the classic old laser that we usually have used time and time again essentially and endeavor to choose that instrument. The um, uh, uh, laser here that we use that, uh, that we like completely is, is particularly portable. If you go to the vomtech.com website, which we do laser and also animal adjusting, we'll show you the technology that is backed by this. And there's also uh, an area on cold laser therapy that will tell you what the history, the th theory, and how it's applied essentially. And I think you'll be amazed at what it is that we can do. Fracture repair is only one of 2,700 different disease conditions that we treat with frequency-specific laser therapy. It's something that the veterinary profession confuses as class 4 laser. This is a class 2A laser essentially. It produces no heat and has 0.0, .0 downside. The average amount of treatment time for a fracture like this would be less than two minutes. And as a matter of fact, we would probably do it only 13 times in about three weeks. And that uh, in about three weeks, we should have an animal whose bones, cortexes, are essentially grown back together enough for the animal to bear weight. This also works in the equine. It works in the bovine. It works in elephants. And it works in kitty cats. Of course, anything that we do in cat, we just kind of look at them cross-eyed and they heal back. So cats make us look really good all the time. We are able to heal a lot of things especially things in casts with this as we laser right through the cast with this particular technology. I cannot express to you how valuable frequency specific laser therapy is in your practice. If you're not using it, you don't you know what I'm talking about and you say, yeah, we have a laser in our practice. You don't know what my face looks like means you really have never been experiencing frequency specific laser therapy as I'm the person that basically developed the technology and have taught over 800 graduate veterinarians throughout the United States how to apply it for various disease conditions. Please consider going to the website uh, vomtech.com and look at the area that describes veterinary cold laser therapy and we'll describe in detail what it is that we have. And you can also actually look to see uh, a, a list of advanced trained practitioners throughout the area that are using this and uh, adequately contact them and find out if they find that to be the situation. Again, we use this for fracture repair, accelerated fracture repair, and non-union fracture repair. Thank you for listening and have a great day.